Long line vessels are usually 40 feet and above, mechanized, and have a capacity to fish both in the country's exclusive economic zone and in waters beyond our national jurisdiction, that is, international waters. Manned by a crew of upwards of three persons, these vessels undertake fishing expeditions in excess of two weeks. I caught up with boat captain Llewellyn Ellis while he was preparing for a three-week expedition. He has 29 years experience as a boat captain. We don't use net. This boat is a, a long liner, right? We have a 40 mile spool in the back here. So we, on every given occasion, we set out sometimes 1,500 hooks, right? And it's, it's not a, a aggressive gear. It's a, a passive gear, you know? We just set it, wait, and then we go back and pick it up. How long do you have to wait? Well, depend on the, 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 the fishing activity and depend on the bait. Well, if you use live bait, sometimes three to five hours. If we use dead bait, up to seven hours, you leave it soaking. And how do you know where to go get the fish? Well, they, when we make the download in the morning, they get your current speed, they get thermal climate, they get plantain speed, right? You could even get weather. Everything here. And we also have a SSB radio, right? Where we listen to other fishermen, so you know how the fish are running and so forth. So basically, that is how we move. What? goes into preparing for your voyages. Preparation, well, in the long lining industry, the initial expense is the most expensive in all fishing in, in equipment industries. To send out a boat like this, it costs sometimes 14 to 15,000 US. Yeah, US to send out a boat like this. It's ice, groceries, fuel, right? Everything is, is very costly, right? But on a good day, sometimes 20 fish, you get back that money. So one tuna, right? Price grade one tuna, nine dollars a pound, nine US a pound. One fish, a hundred and something pounds. So you see, one fish you get nine hundred, almost a thousand US, right? So if we come in, two hundred fish, you see what we're doing there. How much fish are you in this boat? The capacity of this boat. This capacity of the boat is twenty-five thousand tons fish. How many days do you stay out? Fifteen to twenty-one days maximum. Where we go in the international water. When we leave here, we go to St. Vincent Green, or, or Grenada for bait. Any one of the Grenadines Islands, sometimes we get bait there. Kanawan, Mystique, Bekwe, right? We collect the live bait. We wait a while for it to get accustomed to the boat and then we move. As a boat captain, Alice has also been involved in training young fishers. My background, I'm not just a captain, right? I'm also a fishing technologist and a gear technologist. When I used to work with Caribbean fisheries, my job was to teach fishermen. So I train fishermen throughout the region, from Belize, right down Guyana, Suriname, here. Yeah. Under the Japanese had a project. I worked with the Japanese for 10 years. What is some of the knowledge that we have taught? fish pot fishery, vertical long line, pelagic long line, fads, trawling, you name it, fishing. Yeah. How can this sector be improved? Yeah, we gotta get back young people involved in the fishing. I actually spent seven months in Japan training. What did uh, you learn there? Fishing technology. I did fishing technology and I did also coastal fishing techniques. Llewellyn Ellis, long liner boat captain for the capital of paradise.